This is intermediate music theory. This is going to be lesson three. And today we're going to talk about the scale degrees. So understanding the concept of scale degrees is important to uh, understanding not only how to build scales, but later on it's going to come in handy uh, when we start talking about chords and harmony. So it's a good time to start getting used to this idea. Uh, so we're going to do this lesson in musictheory.net. We're going to go to scales and key signatures and we're going to go to scale degrees. So let's click on that. Uh, now the concept of scale degrees is pretty simple. Um, we're going to, for any given scale, for any scale, we're going to assign each note on the scale a different number. And that's what the scale degree is going to be. Uh, now, we are also going to be assigning some uh, names, so specific names to uh, some of the most important ones along the way. So the first and last note in a scale is called the tonic. And so, for example, in C major, which is what we have here, the tonic is always going to be C. Uh, if we had G major, for example, the tonic would be G. And so the next important point in a scale is the fifth note of the scale or the fifth degree. And uh, we all call that the dominant. Uh, the dominant in C major is going to be G because that's our fifth note. Uh, but say we were in D major, uh, we'd have D, E, F sharp, G, A. A would be our dominant or our fifth degree scale on D major. The final is going to be the fourth note, and we call that the subdominant. Uh, it's called subdominant because it's immediately below the dominant. Uh, so in C major, the subdominant or the fourth scale degree is going to be F. And uh, in D major, for example, it would be the E, F sharp, G. G would be the subdominant in D major. Uh, so you just basically have to count from your first note or your tonic uh, up four. So notice that the subdominant is the same distance below the tonic as the dominant is above, which is a fifth. So just to be clear, the distance between the tonic and the dominant above it is going to be a perfect fifth. And the distance between the tonic and the subdominant below it is going to be another perfect fifth. So sub, we already talked about this, sub means under or beneath. So uh, let's talk about the third node now. The third node is called the median because it's in the middle of the tonic and the dominant. The sixth note is called the submedian because it's in the middle of the upper tonic and the subdominant. So you see the median and submedian are basically splitting up those perfect fifths in half. It's from the tonic to the dominant, it's split up by the median. And from the subdominant to the next tonic above, that's split up in half by the submedian. So, and by the way, the scale degree numbers of the median are three, and the submedian is sixth scale degree. Okay, because that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it's always good to keep in mind the numbers because those come in handy as well. The second note of the scale is called the supertonic. Super it's above, comes from the Latin language. And so that's going to be our second note or our second scale degree called the supertonic. Okay, now, 
So the scale degrees for the first six notes are the same for both major and minor scales. So no matter whether you're a major or minor, these names are gonna be the same. Now, the seventh note or the seventh scale degree is an important one because it changes depending on major versus minor. So when the seventh note or the seventh scale degree is half a step below the tonic above it, it is called a leading tone. And this concept of the leading tone is one that is very, very, very important uh, when you're dealing with scales and also with chords, which you'll learn later on. Um, so just remember if the seventh degree is half step below the tonic is called a leading tone. Uh, that's always going to be the case with uh, major scales because if you remember from the formula of building a major scale, there's always a half step between the seventh degree and the eighth degree or the tonic. So we call, the uh, music uh, has called the leading tone, the seventh degree, this half step, because it kind of like feels like it wants to like, like lead or lean into the next tonic because it's so close, because it's only uh, distant by a half step. So let's listen to the C major scale and see if you can get a feel for that leaning or that leading of the seventh scale degree. So you see that motion uh, from the seventh to the tonic or the leading tone to the tonic is one that actually, if you pay close attention when you listen to music, you're gonna hear that a lot, how leading tones often when they occur in music, they resolve, which is called, they, they, they fall to the, the tonic in the next note. So these are slightly more complicated ideas that I'm throwing at you guys, just so that you kind of get a sense for it, but we're gonna talk about some of these things more in depth later on. So, leading tones also happen in harmonic minor and melodic minor. Uh, and as you remember why, in, an, in natural minor, there was a whole step between the sixth and seventh degree and a whole step between the seventh and eighth. Because there is a whole step, cannot be considered a leading tone. Now, in harmonic minor, do you remember harmonic minor raises the seventh scale degree by a half step, which would then make the distance between the seventh and eighth note, or the seventh degree and the tonic, a half step. Then it would be considered a leading tone. Same thing with melodic minor. Melodic minor raises both the sixth and seventh scale degree by a half step by comparison to the natural minor. So that would also make the this distance a half step. And that's why we have leading tones in both harmonic minor and melodic minor. Uh, if you're like having trouble visualizing this or you can't remember, you can always go back to uh, the lesson on the minor scale. That's going to have that there and it's gonna be a good reminder for you guys. So the natural minor, the seventh note, or the seventh hill degree, is a whole step below the tonic. In this case, the note is called the subtonic. So it's a subtonic, meaning is below the tonic. Uh, let's play the C natural minor scale and you, you'll see that um, the subtonic, because it's further away, it's, it's away by a whole step, it, it doesn't really have that same like leading quality that the leading tone had. Okay. So just to tie it, uh, just to tie the lesson up now, so you can see now that all of the notes in the C major scale have been labeled by their like number scale degrees. And you're gonna see this sometimes in music or in musical exercises. Uh, 
you're going to see these numbers with a caret on top of it. This little symbol, if you've never seen it before, it's called a caret. Uh, that, when you see a number with a caret on top usually, but sometimes below the note, that's meant to indicate, to show the, um, the scale degree of that particular note. Okay? So, for example, the dominant of a scale, G in C major, can be labeled as a five with a carrot. So that's the fifth scale degree. You would see it written like that, five with the carrot. Okay, so um, this is a pretty um, simple, but you know, full overview of scale degrees and what their names are. Uh, just remember these terms as they are gonna become a lot more important in later lessons. Okay, have a good one.